Greetings, Captains and Commanders. It is my privilege to announce a lot of good things is happening on World of Warships real soon. And it is actually, for the first time in ages, it's finally coming. And I wanted to say, welcome to the Admiral's channel, Admiral Revan's channel. I am your host, and basically I'm just going to be talking about the latest development blog for World of Warships. Now, as part of the latest stream that I've seen, I want to say that I was absolutely thrilled when I have heard the great news in the grapevine about not just only about the new test ships and the mercenaries and features and stuff like that, but there's a new thing happening in the near future and that is finally the announcement of the client change now I don't know about you but the in-game client has been a thing that I have to admit wasn't that beneficial and you know I know everyone knows that the game client could have been better, hands down. Now, I'm going to show you in a minute here what the game client looks like. <clears throat> so, the game client, as you, uh, you and I know, is looking like this at, at the moment as, as part of the whole interface. And that's fine, okay? Um, but, unfortunately, um, for all the games we have to do, we have to install a new region, we have a separate installation. And the separate installation will end up looking like something like this. You have multiple folders here, and basically, in a nutshell, you got multiple folders for different regions, and then you have, of course, the PTS. I asked Wargaming so many times in the last five years, and I said, how come that we have separate installations for each region? And the only answer I was given is because that they have uh, certain things to maintain it by, patch it by, and things like that. I disregarded that because it's not an answer that I'm looking for. The answer I'm looking for is that either either way that some people say it was pure laziness in the coding or uh, a bit of misunderstanding and limitation or something happen with the limitation of the actual service or they want to be individually controlled. We understand about the individual control but now World of Warships has changed over the years to the point that it's now a worldwide application that is well recognized within the organization and at the same time that finally we are looking forward to a stable game client they'll be coming to replace it real soon so basically the game client uh, is supposed to be dropping at 9.9 .9. okay so currently we're 9.7 and there's two versions away so technically we are looking around about maybe just before Christmas this year if it is going to be a good Christmas gift and I think personally it's going to be great because we'll be able to have it all handled the way we want it to be. Because, like, for example, with three installations of World of Warships for NA, Asia, and EU, is about 187 gig. Well, I did this one to myself and I said, like, look, you know, they could have gone away with one game installation, like through Steam, for example, and have maybe say you'll take maybe 
just a hundred gig, you know, and that would make sense, you know, like for the high definition quality and everything. And the game is evolving, and the game is ma is making good progress. The game is actually got to the state that they're now be able to do a lot more better handling with the patches and everything, and at the same time that they don't really need to have a separate download client for each version of the servers. And that's why I'm sending them like, whilst it's all well and good, you know, like with all these signed accounts, these separate accounts, that's fine, but you have to download a game client for that different region. For example, if I want to play EU, I have to sign into the account here and log in uh, with my EU account, which is like this one here, and then that's all fine and dandy. But I have to select this one here to select the what what is EU because I have the game installed and then play the game. That, to be honest with you, is a bit full on of steps, you know. And I have to admit, uh, for one person to another to change reasons like that, it's too much. So now they're talking about one game client, just one game client that does everything. And we know Aslan Mods in the past had this feature. We know ModStation um, was trying to do it, but they got away, they, did, they didn't continue it. And we also know that Hackerbase was also doing the same thing. And you know what, to be honest with you, having one centralized game folder with all the mods of the games installed, and the better rep and, the, and there's also a brand new announcement that's been made was a brand new replay game client. Now I have to admit I was absolutely thrilled with the new changes. So that means great changes overall. This has been a positive change. It's a it's a better change than anybody has been told about in the last few months or years that is now instead of saying no there's there is the answer of we are finally doing this in the works we're finally making progress we're finally making something happen and they have finally heard the audience they heard you loud and clear and they know that you are and I have invested so much time into this game and now we're finally making a difference. I believe we have accomplished a lot of things together. And this was my reaction to the whole thing. And I'll show it to you right now. On my Twitter page, that was my sole response. This is how I feel when I had when I had about the one game client for all regions instead of a separate installation for each region. This the great news is one installation for EU, Asia, NA, RU, and separate install for BTS for Water Water 9.9. That in itself, yes, yes, absolutely yes. Thumbs up all around. Big salute to you guys. It means a lot has been achieved. It is a big achievement in itself. I don't know about you, but I was the, one of the first people to sit down there and go like, about damn time. Now, as Tiny Finley from StarCraft 2 would have said, hell is about time. Well, it's true. So, great job, Wargaming. Good on you. Alright, so finally, let's get into the hand of the development stuff, hey? So, I will be including this development blog on my link, as well as um, giving you guys opportunity to check it out during my stream. And also, feel free to openly discuss it as much as you like. I think it's going to be great. Um, the new Battleship Part, part 1, um, as we know, and it's coming after the current warship line we have so let me just bring it out what it looks like 
So, as you know in game, that they plan to separate after the Colorado with three new, three or four new warships, okay? So, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, they're called the Kansas, Minnesota, Vermont, and the Florida. Um, there's the new ships that's going to be introduced. Um, I have to admit that the each of these ships are brand new. They're in development stages uh, for the super testers in the near future, and they will become more available. Now, mercenaries is uh, the command of the division will have the opportunity to invite mercenaries into clan battles. Uh, players who are not a member of a clan. Which is actually damn yeah, cool. A uh, good feature, you know, for clan battles. Um, so, for example, if you have um, your clan that you just started recently, you don't have many new members, but you have, say, for example, a group of people that you know, and you want to form a religious uh, group, <coughs> well, the answer is true. They finally can do it. It just like feels like, you know, and... Um, in games like uh, Star Wars Republic or um, Guild Wars or World of Warcraft where you can finally invite different guild members uh, from diff different people from different guilds to join to fulfill a raid or operation or something like that and actually complete it together in clan battles and that's actually to earn your steel and everything and if that works for you, hey, more power to you. And that's actually a fantastic thing all around. Um, there is some following rules and conditions to apply. And I will probably get you to read it in, in your own time and place about that. But there's also a new report, uh, improvements uh, coming up towards the Research Bureau. Now... There are victory added bonuses for tier 5 sh ships and above um, for at least you know, 200 research points at tier 5 and so on and so forth as, you, as the game progresses. So this is something for you to consider uh, in the near future. Um, aircraft squadrons, you know like um, the change for, for the, um, the targeting and Everything visually is actually a little bit better. Uh, the movements uh, will be a lot more smoother. Uh, the trajectory of bombers making an attack will change slightly. And when damage is received, the aircraft will shake. So that's actually, you know, something um, pretty much more interesting all around to have. Also, more visual improvements for the current game itself. So, for example, that the... Uh, if you want to see a very high definition, um, you know, outcome for, like, say, the, wa the warships that you've been playing on, uh, you see the before and after change. And on the right-hand side, the after change is the better new change that they're looking for. So it's going to be pretty good. There's a lot of technical improvements that the, you know, that the there will be a better re uh, replay tool, um, in motion as well though I mentioned earlier also the game coins now uh, for certain uh, selecting server regions and also at the same time that they will reduce you know like they'll encourage you probably to uninstall the other games first um, so that you can actually work on it um, the new warships that is coming on the horizon here is a Japanese battleship tier 9 um, it's actually a super battleship of the creation of the Yamato class it's got actually triple guns on I mean like for each turret and both front and rear which is actually going to be one hell of a ship and also um, the German destroyer the tier 9 the Z44 is actually pretty cool um, very suitable for torpedo distancing attack and it does not have hydroacoustic searching consumable so this is going to be an interesting destroyer to play with um, the French battleship 
Strasbourg is a tier seven, and it's like a dunk. It's like the Dunkirk class um, with the uh, main battery, really like booster consumable, great fire rate, great decent range, good armor, uh, effectively good for distance and flanking attacks, and. Then back to T10, we got the Palmov, which is a great British cruiser. Awesome for um, you know surveillance and smoke generator, um, better armor as well. And then the Commonwealth cruiser, which is um, an Indian warship called the Mysore, which is a Fiji type class light cruiser. And it's actually pretty handy to have as well. So we're gonna have a good variety of warships coming up in the near future. Um, there's a lot more announcements coming up for you know changes towards um, AA defense and detectability ranges for air support. Um, just understand this though: nothing in this game is finalized in the super test until the actual game has been released. So when the game is actually fully released, make sure that you are looking forward to the new changes more often. Please understand this. When 9.9 .9 comes out, there will be some bugs, some features in the game that might not work 100% at the start, but there is their hope and then their intention to actually improve the game and move forward. In a nutshell, I'm looking forward to it, and with the the, the, the whole idea of the climate approach. Um, but at the same time, though, it was a bit of disappointment knowing that uh, they can't merge one of all the uh, accounts into one, uh, like they did for the PTS. And that's okay. It's probably baby steps in the right direction. And if this is a the right, steps in the right direction. For everything what they do, more power to you. But for now, be content with what we got and um, being given right now. I think this is a good start because like eventually I could probably see that you know you have to make one account for all regions and you will import your data from all the other previous accounts and actually have all your ships synchronized and for example if you already have those existing ships they'll be refunded um, with the balloons or credits and the crew members that you have on there will probably be made uh, sent to reserve before we can use them again. So right now, for now, be happy and try to keep a smiling face. So this is actually pretty good overall guys. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I haven't heard much about the mod station. Uh, about the possibility for you know possible skin tweaking and stuff but that could be something later down the track until again guys take care have a good one and stay safe it is very important nowadays and i hope to see you on the next stream